Right, I did a video around about three videos back, okay? It was called, I think, the 10 click challenge. I'll put a link here. I got a whole bunch of feedback from you guys here and also on Instagram. So I thought what would be cool is if we had a hashtag, which means I'm inviting you guys to get involved with the challenge. Get out, you've only got 10 clicks, right? 10 clicks only, no cheating. Let me know how you got on in the comments below. Perhaps even post your images on Instagram using the hashtag and I'll share a bunch of them on my social media, I promise you. As soon as I've got that GoPro on, yeah, there's no cuts. So you're gonna see me in action, 10 clicks as always, or as last time, and then I'm gonna post the image after every click, okay? No cheating, here we go, rock and roll. So, I think we're off and running straight off the bat here with a click. It's not too bad, kind of center frame. Yeah, I'm on the Fuji X-Pro3 23mm lens, which is 35mm equivalent because we're on a crop sensor, right? And we're at the Barbican. Barbican's a great place to hang out anyway. It's got lots of little coffee bars and, and bars and uh, theatre and arts and exhibitions and, and, and cinema and all of that kind of thing. So it's an awesome place to hang out, but it's an awesome place to shoot because you've got this brutalist architecture, lots of walkways and corridors. It never gets too busy. It's busy enough because we want people, right? And um, you've got kind of space to shoot. I find I shoot not as close in here, though. It's a little bit, my image is a little bit more of a, a, a landscape a feel to them. There's a waste of a click there. Can you see that? It's literally, wait, it's actually not a bad photograph. But in terms of, we've only got 10 clicks. Um, this composition here, uh, I'm going to turn, I'm, I'm cheating a bit because I've, I've shot this before. What, ideally what I want, I want someone on that ground level, there, yeah, and then I want somebody on this next elevation here on the steps. Uh, it's like that, having that um, would take, uh, it would mean me being patient, right? And, I mean, how patient do you want me guys, me to be on these videos? I mean, you're just staring at one thing for ever and ever, right? Well, it could be, it could take a while. Um, so that's click three already, because I kind of wasted a click. So this shot coming up is kind of cool. But again, imagine somebody else on that, somebody on that next elevation. So, yeah, guys, I want you to get involved in this challenge. Uh, like I said, we've got a hashtag. And, um, little subscribe hint now, plug, little plug, self plug. Um, yeah, I want you guys to get involved and uh, 10 clicks. I know someone was saying to me after the last video that I did, um, the last 10 click video, which is the first one, that, yeah, but I need time to warm up. And I kind of go along with that, I do. What I find though, especially last time around, with having just 10 kick clicks, that constraint, it almost like fast track that process of warming up a bit. Because what is warming up all about, you know, I'm warm, I, want, I need to warm up. It's about coming more alert, right, and seeing more. Well, if you put a constraint on yourself, immediately that fires you into that space or, or kind of fast tracks you getting into that space a little bit. Um, yes. Um, oh, guys, I apologize for the, um, when we get into low light because Blondie is useless in low light. Our oh, Blondie is, uh, what's that? Oh, that is a terrible frame. That is a terrible frame. I just... Uh, and I've wasted another click. Blondie is... Uh, my GoPro. It's na named after Clint Eastwood's character in uh, The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. She's quick off the draw. Blondie. A terrible in low light. Can't vouch for Clint Eastwood in low light, but... The, the, the GoPro, it's not having it. This frame here, uh, I don't know oh, what's going on there. I kind of see what, where the lady who's on a, who's on a laptop, yes, yeah, she is on a laptop there. Um, there's a frame to be had there, right? But again, I need to be uh, perhaps a little bit more patient than that. I think it was in two minds. See, that's the thing with doing this ten, these 10 clicks. It kind of, 
it, it calls for a, a certain way of shooting street photography because you're creating a video with it as well. I'm talking about 10 clicks with this video because I could be standing around for ages, uh, forever and ever, for it look, uh, to get uh, the kind of shots that I want to get. So, that, But the, what I'm saying is there's an element of me having to look after you guys. Well, how, how long are you going to be watching these videos for? I mean, this is already spilling into, what is it, six, six minutes, and we're only halfway through. Yeah, that frame there, I just wasn't happy with it at all. It was just a, not a good frame. But as worse frames go, this next frame coming up here, I think it's... This is like the heavyweight champion of bad frames in this, uh, this little video here. This is a bad frame. Every, everything is distracting everything else. Uh. I don't know what all them lights are. Is that uh, flashing? There we go. I'm getting pretty close here. I'm getting as close as I can because there's a window, right? Now I've cropped in a little bit with that frame, I have to be honest. So on the 35. Kind of want a 50 millimeter for that. She's still there. Does she go in the calf? footage. I told you, as soon as it hits, even like a, a, a tiny little bit of low light, it's in trouble. It starts, oh, it starts getting noisy and... of this videos this video dictates that I kind of I just play it out and keep it running as it is because you might think I'm cheating see eight out of ten I've got two shots left from across the sea. It's super cool here though. Like I said, I've done workshops here in the past. Uh, it's great to shoot portraits and it's great to instruct as well uh, when you're doing a workshop here. Because um, you're out kind of in the city, but you've, you've got space at the same time. Um, so I'm kind of back to this composition, which I, uh, I liked. I really liked this earlier and I didn't think I nailed it. So there's a couple of frames coming up. I kind of like my white van now. I'm going to put it in black and white though. Oh, I didn't. The first one I didn't. I think I lost count at this stage. Yeah, so I've got the tenth shot. So that's it really. But I think I did, yeah, I did click again. So, um, 
I'll sling that in at the end of the video. Right, guys, let me know what you think. Again, like I said, get involved. Do the 10 shot challenge yourself. Tag me on Instagram, and I promise I'll post a whole bunch of them. Guys, please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video if you're getting benefit. And um, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, guys. Bye.